In this video, we're going to show you how to reduce memory usage for multi instances on LD Player. By optimizing the memory usage, you'll be able to run more instances smoothly and efficiently. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that bell icon for notifications. This way, you can easily find this video again when you want to use the LD Player function. Lowering the resolution within the emulator settings can help reduce memory usage. Higher resolutions consume more resources. Reducing the number of CPU cores assigned to each instance can decrease memory usage. However, this might also impact performance, so find a balance that works for your system. Adjust the amount of RAM allocated to each instance. Reducing this can lower memory usage, but be mindful not to set it too low, as it might affect the performance of the apps or games you're running. Turn off features and settings in LD Player that are not needed, as they might be consuming extra memory. You can turn it back on whenever you need it. On Windows, set your power plan to high performance to ensure that your PC is using its resources to their fullest. task manager, click on the performance tab. Here, you'll see a graph and statistics for CPU usage, monitor the CPU usage percentage. High percentages indicate heavy usage, which could lead to slowdowns. In the same performance tab, you can find information about your memory usage, look at the memory usage graph and the percentage of used memory. High memory usage can lead to performance issues, especially if it's consistently near 100%. The task manager also shows disk activity. High disk usage can indicate that your storage is a bottleneck. 
especially if you're using a traditional HDD instead of an SSD. Regular monitoring helps you proactively adjust instances and settings, balancing performance with resource use, crucial for tasks like gaming or running multiple emulators. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that bell icon for notifications. This way, you can easily find this video again when you want to use the LD player function. That wraps up our quick tutorial for today.